In this video I'm going to build a, an Andel bug box kit in 16mm scale for 45mm gauge. You will be able to see my watch throughout the video by the side of the build area and I'm timing the build to see how long it takes. So the first job is to prepare the body. With a sharp knife cut out the windows, doors, roof in and window frames. These come out really easily, um, they're made of very thin material and the windows and doors can be cleaned up to give nice crisp edges when using a sharp or any knife a lot of care must be taken not to uh, slice your fingers referring to instructions as regularly as possible helps you to avoid making any silly mistakes it's very simple uh, easy to build kit so I shouldn't imagine too many mistakes will be made anyway the roof inner is now cleaned out and the small internal window frames Pets should probably be kept away from knives at most times. This is Daisy who's taken an interest in the kit build. Next, the uh, holes are drilled in the body sides. These are 1.5mm holes. And two of them are drilled on the left side of the doorway on each panel, referring to the instructions as always. And one is drilled 5mm in from the left hand door edge. I used a hand drill for this, no need for anything more powerful, a little bit of care is needed with the uh, thin strapping details on the body panels, but this was done with ease as was the rest of the kit. There's Daisy again. Now we move on to the body base and chassis construction. The body base is turned upside down. And the chassis base is placed inside it. Uh, the ends must be flush. And uh, on my kit, these were not quite so, so uh, a little bit of sanding was needed on both ends just to get everything flush. We've been building for around 20 minutes by this time. So the end's flush. The chassis base and the body base can be glued together with super glue. 
I think I used about half a tube of super glue for this carriage. And the quick set time really speeds up the kit construction time. Now the seating panel can be installed. Once again the ends must be flush. Plenty of glue for this. I didn't use enough the first time. So with the seat glued in we can then start work on the ends of the carriage. Now the seat and the chassis ends are not quite flush on my carriage. Uh, which I didn't check for super gluing, which was a bit of a mistake. So these were then sanded down. So you can see the, the body is quite firm already. More super glue was applied. And uh, yet more super glue was applied. Plenty is needed on such large parts. But still, I hadn't got the ends quite flush. And, uh, these were trimmed down with a piece of sandpaper and a knife. Just shows the importance of checking that such things before actually gluing. So there's the carriage with its ends assembled. Now on to the coach sides. These are easily super glued in place onto the body base and the sides of the coach ends. If you've got everything square, this should be really easy and quick. I added a little, a drop of super glue to both top corners just to provide a little bit of more strength and uh, um, adhesive in that area. Um, and uh, this is once again really a really easy process. So onto the other side. Uh, the advantage of super glue being that the uh, First side is already stuck fast, and uh, you can move on quickly onto the next side. By this time, I've spent about 35 minutes. You can see from my watch on the kit, the watch was started at 10 o'clock. So, glazing can now be fitted. Firstly, a quick check round that all the windows are nice and crisp and free of flashing. And those are roughly measured up and can be cut with a knife. I cut them too big several times, but that's better than cutting them too small. Plenty of glazing is supplied in the kit. Uh, I glazed another vehicle with the trimmings from the kit. The quick clean with a handkerchief just to get rid of any uh, fingerprints and these can be glued on. Now super glue leaves a white residue so I try to only glue the top and bottom of the glazing to avoid getting 
any white smears onto uh, visible uh, on the carriage. The other side of the glazing is now fitted once again. Quick cut is made where the cut is needed. And with a ruler and a knife the glazing is cut down to size. Quick clean again and the glazing can be fitted inside. And there you see the carriage with glazing installed. Join us for the second part for this Andel bug box build.